Hi. Do you ever wonder why sex is one of the main reasons why people get divorced? You may even be engaged right now and wondering, you're never going to be part of that statistic. Or you may even wonder what kind of role will sex play in my marriage? Well, I've been giving this a lot of thought and a lot of attention and I have come up with a solution. And I would like that to share with you, so please watch this video and you will learn what it is. I think we all want to be loved and we all want to love. That is just the way we're designed. We're designed to do this life with somebody. We really can't do it alone. So I think when you meet somebody or meeting somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with, that is truly a gift. And it is also an opportunity for you to fulfill that underlying needs that we all have, is the need to love and be loved. When it comes to sex, um, sex by yourself can be good and exciting. Sex with somebody that you like but not necessarily love can be good and exciting and possibly even hot. Now sex with somebody that is wrapped in the love of forever and is wrapped in the commitment and um, if it's a healthy sexual relationship within that commitment then it is truly nirvana. So why is it that two out of the top three reasons why people get divorced are of sexual nature and that is infidelity and lack of intimacy sexual intimacy and the third one is lack of communication. There's actually one study that I came across that is just a, not necessarily a study, it was just a survey of 500 divorced couples and they gave the results um, according to gender. So the women's um, result was that the main reason for the women that they got divorced is because their husband cheated on them and the second reason is lack of communication. On the other side, by the man, their main reason, which is interesting, is lack of communication. And the second reason is lack of sexual intimacy. So it is clear that we're really not ready to go into a forever and always with our sexual relationship, with our sexual desires. So what, what can we do, you know? Well, we obviously need to do something differently because we're not prepared. Um, what we could do is, you know, we could do there's um, premarital therapy. So we could have some premarital sex therapy. That would be a good way to start. Then what we also could do, if that is not on your radar, then you can maybe possibly bring it into your vows. I, you know, we have gotten more creative with our vows, we've gotten more inclusive, we kind of, not everybody is still hooked on the, um, in sickness and in health till death to us part. People have gotten more creative and, um, but I have yet to hear some vows at, at the weddings that I get to go to and um, where sexuality is included, you know, for example, I would love to hear someone say, and I promise you to be the best lover that I can be for us. So, you know, I know it takes more than just putting it in the vows, but what it would do is it would actually start the communication. It would start the conversation and it could give you definitely a chance to get to that nirvana state and to create something that is lasting. Um, which brings me now to the solution. And what I have done with keeping all of this in mind, I have put together a program. And I call it the I Do program. What it is, it's a five session program that is designed to give you sexual knowledge, sexual skills, that will give you a chance to have a foundation on top of which you can build a strong and powerful and beautiful sexual marital life. This, um, I put a little video together, you can click it, it's right up here, right next to my Cheetos, which is a snack that I'm definitely not proud of. The video explains 
what's in the sessions, explains how it works and when and how much it costs and the benefits and all of that yummy stuff. So do me a favor and check it out. And if you have any questions, you can click on my email. Um, you can just write me, connect with me through my email. I will also put the email in the description so you have a direct link to it. I want to make it really easy for you to find me and to get this started. All right. Thank you very much for watching and um, I'll talk to you next week. Bye.